Women FC TV with Adam Hinchwood looking ahead to Tunbridge Angels in the National League South. First game of the season, our second year in the league. How are you feeling going into it, Adam? No, yeah, looking forward to it now. Um, yeah, pre-season's gone well, but it gets to a certain point in pre-season. I think probably the same as, as the fans and, and the players as well, where you just want those um, the games to start coming and you know those three points um, coming up for grabs. Um, it's what really matters and it's what we're looking forward to. So yeah, can't wait to get going with the season now. Um, real, real tough start, but um, yeah, that's the league we're in. And just touch on pre-season, um, what do you make of it overall over the past month? What have you thought of uh, the players so far, who's impressed you and been happy with the preparations? No, yeah, real real sort of mixed bag really. We've um, had a really good performance to start off with at Brighton, um, played really well there and finished with a really good one at Horsham and some pretty awful performances in between to be honest. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's served its purpose, we've looked at a lot of players. Um, We've conceded goals from set pieces and um, all different varieties of goals, counter attacks and, and everything. So I think you know sometimes it's good to get all that out of the way in pre season and analyse it and see where you can get better and improve. And sometimes when you go through uh, winning every game in pre season and then you come to the first game of the season and you um, you come undone sometimes. So. Yeah, I think all in all it's uh, served its purpose. Ultimately, we've got a lot of players, uh, the right minutes that they need. Um, some that have been struggling with little niggles that we'd like to have got more minutes into, but it hasn't been the case. So, yeah, all in all, we'd say we're relatively pleased with how it's gone. Are you happy with how the squad's at for this first game? Do you think there's going to be enough players available? I suppose it's quite a big squad, actually. So No, yeah, we've, we've got... Um, Relatively big squad, we've got probably four or five injuries, um, nothing too serious, all should be back within two, three weeks. Um, but you know what we have got is um, a really good youth structure and some really good um, youth prospects um, that will, we're hoping this season, um, really you know, complement the squad and, and give us that backup that we need. Um, so yeah, it's, um, it's exciting for, for one or two of them and you know, we're just hoping that they take their chances, um, similar sort of uh, scenario that what Joe Rye was in last year, no one expected him to play the amount of games that he played, um, so yeah we're hoping that one or two can can step up and um, have a bit more of an impact in, in the squad this year. There's great evidence of the players stepping up last night in the Sussex uh, Community Shield final, winning on penalties against Broadbridge Heath, the boys in that team talking Finn Chadwick, coming in, captain's armband, scoring the goal he did. What did you make of that performance last night and uh, that win cup? No, oh, yeah, you've got a, um, you know, it's a real sort of proud moment, I think, for the club and like the youth structure in, in general, really. I think uh, Monday night we played Littlehampton and I think we finished the game with seven 15-year-olds on the pitch and, um, you know, really held our own and, you know, probably could have got a couple more goals in that game and it was really, really good performance against the uh, Ishbury and uh, Southside and again last night we was um, really poor first half, um, didn't get to grips with them and we was just um, a bit off the pace all over the pitch um, but second half I thought we showed a bit more of what we're about and again you've got to give young players credit, it's, uh, it's like me shouting at them and going mad at them at half time but they're the ones that need to respond and that they did second half and give a unbelievable count themselves um, but yeah it, it can't be down to uh, whoever's taken them whatever manager whatever coach to to get that out of them um, we need to see that spirit and um, you know that endeavor um, throughout their play now and uh, yeah so really really pleasing week um, good performance um, Saturday and then you know the youngsters have stepped up on on Monday and Wednesday and you know left everything out there in the end and yeah to get two wins as against Ishman South opposition um, really pleasing and shows you know all the hard work that all the youth coaches and everyone's doing uh, at the club um, is is really paying off for us. And talking of quality coming up into the team, quality coming into the team has been quite a few signings coming in uh, this summer. Could you just talk to a few, a few of those players and uh, general ideas for them, what are you expecting from them this campaign? 
No, obviously um, with Harrison and we need a goalie, so you know um, Rocco become available, and you know really excited to see how he can develop this year, um, working alongside Kilo and seeing the good work that Kilo's done with Harrison over the, the two years, and you know really excited to see what um, you know he can do working alongside uh, Rocco on a daily basis. Uh, you know Joe Felix will be. Um, you know, Mr. Versatile, I think for us, he's played centre midfield, right wing, left back, right back. Um, you know, I think if we wanted him to, he'd put the gloves on and go and goal for you. But uh, yeah, he's 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 really what a, what a great character. And I think like we go on about Greg, Michael, Nicky, um, Juan Luque, uh, all the lads that come in. I think the thing that I like most about them is they're really good characters, um, really good people, and that's what we want at the club. Um, you know, Gary Offit's come in as well, talking to good people, great person to have around the club and you know, I think, you know, what we've got in the dressing room as well is, is really good people. Um something that we've we've had over the last few years and um you know, you know they're gonna give their all for you when it matters and you know that's really pleasing to have. Yeah, absolutely. And you mentioned Gary there, him coming back to the club after a few years away with management experience as well, it's gonna be a great boost to the coaching setup. No, definitely, yeah. Um obviously there was a bit of a um a gap there with with Buddy going um, with Coxie to Burgess Hill, um, so yeah, it'd be a slightly different role for Gary. But yeah, like I say, he's um, someone I've known for a long time, and you know, fully trust. And um, yeah, it'd be a great great asset to us. Um, you know, want him to work, you know, all aspects of the club, but mainly focus on our, our defensive unit. Um, you know, for a team that conceded as many goals as we did last year, he's got his his work cut out for how we like to play. But um, yeah, it's um, another good sounding board for us to have at the club, and um, yeah, we're really pleased that he's decided to join us. So we're looking ahead to Saturday and Tunbridge Angels, a team we're no strangers to. We've played them so many times over the last six or so years. A really tough outfit, a team that probably be quite ambitious this season. What do you expect from going into Saturday? No, yeah, exactly that. I um, remember going to their place and coming away very disappointed. I thought we had a really good first half and then was poor second half at their place. Um, and that wasn't so long ago. So, yeah, Jay's um, you know, a great manager for this kind of level. Um, he's proved, you know, what a top manager he is um, at this level and above. So, yeah, it's, it's going to be a tough ask. Um, you know, we've only got to look at our first three fixtures and um, how what a tough league we're going to be in. So, yeah, it's 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 tough. It's it's um, it's going to be relentless. But yeah, we're looking forward to it. Looking forward to that challenge. Like I say, we worked we worked hard last year um, to finish where we did, and the season before to even get to this kind of level. Um, and now we're here. We want to sort of relish it and and really give a good account of ourselves. And uh, that's what we're looking to do come Saturday. And even better, we're at home for it as well for a first game of the season. No, definitely. Yeah, um, our three home pre-season fixtures have been you know quite awful to be honest and really been disappointed and left here disappointed on all three occasions um although you know you can't look too much into things in pre-season but you know it's it's how it is um you know it's been disappointing and we want to try and put that right saturday uh, with a good performance um you know we know if we we do that we give a good account of ourselves we'll be a tough team to play against this season for any team at our level um but yeah it's down to us to try and find that good to have a big crowd as well for it as well get yeah hands behind us. oh definitely yeah just hoping that um you know, not too put off. Um, the weather hasn't been brilliant for our last few fixtures at home. Um, and obviously there's not bundles of covering up the ground no more. So yeah, we'll have to huddle in and hopefully the rain stays away and the fans come down in their numbers and, and support us. Like I say, that's um, such a big part of, you know, when you speak to players, such a big part, they talk about how the club plays football and, and the fan base that they generate at home. and. You know, we want to carry that on and we're hoping for a big crowd on Saturday.